Three key considerations to think about when using whiteboard videos for marketing. You probably have seen whiteboard marketing videos before. They all start out with a hand or a blank screen, and then a hand shows up and draws images while a voiceover plays or some text appears explaining what's going on. They're very effective because they tend to do an efficient job at explaining concepts. Make no mistake, when you talk to somebody and you have a concept in mind, sometimes things get lost in translation. You're not quite able to get your message across clearly and effectively. When you pair that with images, it's much easier for things to click in the minds of people you're trying to convince. Remember, at the end of the day, you want them to reach into their pockets, whip out their wallets, take out their credit cards, fill out an online form, and send you money. That's the bottom line. That's the name of the game. There's no shame in that game. Whiteboard animation can be an effective tool in making that happen. Another way you can turbocharge whiteboard animation is using cartoons. You can use caricatures. Believe it or not, they create the same face-to-face -face type of video connection as a video spokesperson. The great thing about using cartoons is the fact that they are much cheaper than video spokespersons. The problem with whiteboard animations is their cost if you choose to turbocharge them. If you were to just stick with images and canned music, you'll be fine. You probably would be cranking out tons of these videos for a few bucks a pop, if that. That's how cheap they are to make. The problem is, the moment you start including a voiceover, your costs start to explode. Now, your costs will remain low if you're doing your own voiceover. But if you're insecure about your voice, or you feel that you're just not a good speaker, or you have a low quality voice, you're going to have to spend on a professional. These people are not cheap. They charge per hundred words, and it can get very expensive if you have tons of whiteboard videos. Whiteboard videos that are just made with images and diagrams are cheap to create, just like slideshows. But the moment you include voice, all bets are off. Keep that in mind. Three key Fiverr services that will turbocharge your video marketing business. Video marketing does not have to be expensive. I know you probably have heard otherwise. I'm sure there are lots of professional services companies out there that would love to convince you that you have to pay top dollar. But at the end of the day, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on your videos. You can create slideshow after slideshow, whiteboard video after video, and still have a lot of money left. However, if you really want to increase the impact of your videos, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. Now, how much money you end up spending totally depends on how many extras you want to pack into your videos. Don't get me wrong. A well-made slideshow video can be effective, but if you really want to maximize its impact with as little effort on your part as possible, you would have to spend on extras. Here are three key Fiverr services that will greatly enhance the quality and impact of your video marketing materials. Intro and Outro An intro or outro is an animated or musical piece that plays either in the beginning or at the end of your video. This is a nice little branding element. You may have to pay a little bit of money up front, but the great thing about these clips is that they are a sunk cost. This means that they get cheaper and cheaper the more you use them. You might get a really nice intro, kind of like the Pixar animation. But after a while, people start associating your brand with your intro. This is a good investment to make. Sound engineering and editing. I understand that if you're just starting out, you probably are working on a shoestring budget. You just don't have enough money to come up with the very best videos. I understand that. But here's the thing. If you want to develop a solid brand in your niche, you need to reinvest some of your earnings into quality control. The best way to do this is to invest in sound engineering or video editing. A little bit of money invested in these types of services can go a long way in lifting the overall quality of your videos. Why would you want to do that? Well, you want to come up with a polished brand that would attract people in your niche. Again, this is an investment. You don't have to do it right out of the gate, but you're going to have to revisit this sooner rather than later. Voiceover. Make no mistake, unless you're doing your own voiceovers, this additional element can get quite expensive. This is why you have to invest in voiceovers very strategically. For example, if you crank out slideshows normally, maybe you make it a point to produce a slideshow with a voiceover for every 10 videos you make. Whatever the case may be, a little bit of voiceover work can go a long way in helping you develop a solid brand. Use the three key Fiverr services above to turbocharge the impact of your marketing videos. Do you have to have the best looking videos to make money in your niche? I remember the first time I watched a sales video, and I hate to admit it, it looked like a pile of garbage that caught fire. And that's putting it mildly. The audio was scratchy, the video was blurry at some parts, but guess what happened at the end? That's right, 
I reached into my back pocket, took out my wallet, fished out my credit card, and filled out an online form. I just sent a couple of hundred dollars to whoever made that video. That's how effective that video was. Now, it had nothing to do with the grainy video images. It had nothing to do with the crappy sound system. It definitely had nothing to do with the weird voiceover that seemed like the person talking had pneumonia or some sort of hormone problem. You know what got me? The total video. It packed enough value that it spoke truth to me. Seriously, it delivered value at the right time and at the right moment to produce the right moods that hit me in the right way. Don't get me wrong, I could have bought from a ton of other people, but the video was able to speak to me with the right message at the right time to produce the right effect. I'm sharing this embarrassing experience with you to clue you in on the fact that your video doesn't have to be slick. I know it sounds shocking, but it's true. It doesn't have to look like an Academy Award winning director produced it. It just has to have the right elements. Unfortunately, in this game, you will only know how to project the right elements at the right time after enough practice. This is why I suggest that you produce video after video after video until you get it right. Don't expect to get it right overnight. That's just not going to happen. But the more you practice, the better you get at it. I can guarantee it. Why is elemental video optimization so important to your profitability? I know that's a mouthful. Elemental video optimization. That's a lot of syllables. However, it's also extremely important. You have to understand that when people produce marketing videos, they know full well that the vast majority of their videos are going to fall flat. They're not going to do the job that they were made for. Most people can admit that. The problem is fixing the problem. That is the problem. I've seen this a million times before. A marketer would see that a video is obviously not performing. People are not watching it all the way through. People do not even click the link. And people are not sharing. So what do they do? They come up with a completely new video. That's right. They overhaul everything. They change the title. They change the video itself. They change the description. Everything. I wish I could tell you that this has a happy ending. Unfortunately, it usually doesn't. Most of the time, these marketers spend a whole lot of money only to end up with nothing. Why? They burn down the house. They burn down the whole video. They replace it with another video. Sure, from time to time, somebody would come up with a video that was a hit. But here's the problem. They don't know why it succeeded and why the previous one failed. This is why I suggest that you wrap your mind around the concept of elemental video optimization. I know that's a fancy term, but all it means is that instead of overhauling your video all at once, do it piecemeal. How do you know which part to change? It's very simple. Each video has different elements. There's the title of the video, the description, the video itself, and categories, tags, and what have you. Each of these are elements. When you're optimizing a video, start with one element. For example, start with the thumbnail for the video. Maybe you can come up with five different versions. See which version gets the most clicks and plays. Come up with more versions of that successful thumbnail and see if you can improve the click-through. Once you reach a point where you cannot improve performance anymore, then you move to the next element. Maybe you should change the title. Come up with five different versions. Repeat the process until all elements of the video have been optimized. That's how you play the game. That's how you increase your profitability. Otherwise. You're going to be playing the game the exact same way as most other marketers. How do they do it? They just take shots in the dark. Last time I checked, that's a lousy way to get a bullseye.